uh, the big challenge was uh, you you don't have uh, over on uh, on mobile devices. So what you get when you um, you get your mouse over uh, an item and see uh, a contextual uh, window appearing, you can provide uh, the same thing on mobile phone. So you have to find other way to uh, bring the information to the user. And uh, usually you have uh, several uh, steps of uh, touching or tapping or letting you if you let your finger on the screen to let something happen the problem is that your hand and your finger is um is uh is on the screen so you you have difficulties to see what you you want to to show so we we had to rethink a little bit the uh, a little bit uh, is a euphemis we have to rethink the interface to make it more user friendly on mobile phone to to make uh, things bigger uh, because uh, when you have a five inch device it's not the same uh, that uh, when you're on the computer even if you look your mobile phone in a closer position uh, you have to to change a lot of, of steps so maybe uh, Christophe, can you illustrate that by... Uh... Yeah. So here you have, on, on the left side, you have what we call the different subsystems of the of the battleship. So you have the L, the squadrons, and the weapons. And when you click on the squadrons, uh, you have the hangar, uh, the whole garage of the, of, of the different squadrons you have. And you can indeed over of the elements because you have a mouse it's not an issue here it is my officer so i can assign an officer to, to my squadron uh it, it's pretty it's pretty good for a mouse it's not an issue uh but of course you can't add that on mobile so oh what can i test that the anger is working correctly oh it's standard and it's okay now i have to test on uh, iphone for example so i would go back to my preferences i am in the same place as before and you can see that the interface is slightly different. For example, I don't have the hangar button that was there before. And if I click on the squadrons, watch carefully. <laughs> it is much bigger than before. Mm. As much as said, we added several steps to uh, emphasize the context for the user. Yeah. To yeah, to to you. explain the, the the idea was to to keep the the interface the, the, the closer to the PC one, but uh, it was not possible on a small screen to interact with it with your finger because the the button and uh, everything were too small. So um, we we made choice to to make it bigger, and uh, for that we had to to hide the other parts of the interface because uh, if not uh, it will not be possible to see uh, everything so um, we add a step where you click on the on the subsystem of your battleship and have the interaction possible after that and the interaction are almost the same the difference is is that you have to tap on any time to see the information and the information stay at screen till you do another action and close the, that panel and the as a as a christoph as a show it uh, the switch between the two interface are really easily done with the with the tool we we developed and a lot of components are used in the two interface we change some part of it, but uh, for example, the 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 prefab that are used to show the squadrons are the same on PC and uh, on uh, on mobile, but they are just resizable. And uh, some other like the all the the container of the subsystem are different, so we have different prefab for that and same prefab for other and some of the stuff for example uh, as you can see on the screen some buttons like the local system map button are the same on pc and on uh, 
on uh, on computer, but it's just the uh, overridable uh, rec transform that will change the shape a little bit and scale it to make it uh, at the right size for different uh, platform. And that's, awesome. that's something that's something that's uh, a bit. Uh bit tricky with uh, this interface so we had as i said in, in, in at the beginning we, we we tend to use a diegetic uh interface so something that is embedded into the world so the all the interfaces that i i uh, touch with my mouse uh and would touch with your finger on a, on a device is in fact the add up display for the characters into the game this this whole interface is projected onto the glass panel that is between those characters in this command center and the space uh, beyond the, the glass. But sometimes you have some difficult decisions to make. Here at the bottom left, you see that Caliban, this, uh, this some kind of mechanical octopus, uh, is, is uh, uh, yes, it's, it's in front of the interface. It can, it can interfere with your interaction. So on the PC, we decided to let it like this. So in some cases, it can be, it can interfere. It can, you, you, it won't block the click at any moment, but it will be in front. On mobile, we decided to just remove it. If you click on the weapon, the octopus is gone, <laughs> because at some point, yeah, yeah, the, the, the function dictates mm -hmm. the form at some point. So yeah, on mobile, we we have no choice for that, but. Yeah, on PC it is. It has been a, 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 a requested feature to move Caliban away when it, when it is there. But uh, yeah, we didn't. We did not manage to to find a, a good solution. But on mobile and console, it, it goes away, and uh, it is uh, some kind of tricks you have to do sometimes mm -hmm. to 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 give some comfort to the player. 